This is CBS 2 News at 10. The two investigators find shelter supposed to protect you from the elements at O'Hare Airport, rusting and missing bolts and potentially dangerous. A young woman found that out the hard way. She's now paralyzed. Good evening. I'm Rob Johnson. Kate is off tonight. Dave Savini joins us with this original report. Dave. Rob. Other travelers may be in danger because we found numerous shelters are missing critical hardware to keep these heavy structures from falling over. It just fell. These are the conditions we uncovered at the shelters pedestrians are supposed to rely on at O'Hare. Tierney Darden and her family tried to take cover by one during heavy winds and storms that swept in Sunday, August 2nd. She went to that shelter for safety. Correct. But the shelter, with rusted brackets and bolts missing, blew over and crashed on top of the 24-year-old dancer, pinning her to the ground. She couldn't feel her legs. She couldn't move her legs. And, and she knew it, and she was, you know, she was scared. Her mom and sister also were hurt, but not like Tierney, who suffered a severed spinal cord. She is paralyzed from the waist down, and we're told that it's... Permanent. These pictures were taken of the shelter's metal supports after it toppled over. The shelter that crushed your daughter was missing bolts. Okay. Since the accident, the two investigators have been inspecting the pedestrian shelters located in the arrival lanes of Terminals 1, 2, and 3. We uncovered alarming safety problems, bolts sticking out or missing bolts and corroded parts everywhere. And take a look at this one. Multiple brackets are broken or missing. This shelter is missing 22 bolts that are supposed to connect it to the ground and eight more screws in various spots that connect to the structure itself. And look here, an entire mounting plate is missing. These nuts and bolts are everything to these shelters. Jeff Kroll is the Darden family attorney. If there was any kind of proper inspection going on by the Department of Aviation, if there was any proper maintenance protocol, this would have never happened. This thing is ready to fall. We informed this airport worker of our findings. That thing is just not even... It's rusting out, I can see that. Yeah. All right, well, I have to let somebody know. I want channel two. I want to make sure somebody knows. I don't want to leave it. Another worker in this airport operations van also showed up after our warning. They're going to be removed in the next few days? Yeah, they're taking them all down. She won't be able to dance using her legs again. What hurt you the most? Seeing her lying there and knowing that she's going through this in that much pain and anguish. You are looking at a live picture at O'Hare. I can see even after workers told us they were all coming down, they have not all been removed. But a few have been completely removed. For over a week, we repeatedly called, emailed, and informed officials at Department of Aviation and asked them to comment on all of this. We also filed a Freedom of Information Act request for maintenance records, along with any video that security cameras may have captured of the incident. No one has yet to comment or turn over any records. Jeff Kroll filed a lawsuit against the city on behalf of the Darden family late tonight. Rob, this is far from over. Well, it looks like it is far from over, and I'm just curious, after that horrific injury that she had, how are these people there not aware of what's going on or not willing to go and inspect all of them? It's amazing to me that they haven't taken them all out because they tried to repair them over the years, but the equipment is so old, they started substituting with non-original parts, and it's not what these shelters were meant to be held up by. You can see there's a new part laying on the ground right there. Well, yeah. It's probably not an original no, part. They're not being held up by much. Correct. All right, Dave, stay on top of it for us. Thank you.